So like I was saying to you guys, I suppose you guys want me to talk about the debate tonight. Last year you wanted to talk about KC instead of the ball game. Today we're talking about the debate because you didn't want to talk Baylor. So, Well, for us, uh, big game. You, have, you look at Texas Tech, I'd have to say that you'd have to say that they play, they played up to this point better than we have. You know, we've, as far as we're growing, we're younger, doing all the things we need to do. So, I mean, we have a, we have a, we have a tough challenge on our hands as far as playing this week. So, uh, get ready to go just like we did last week. I mean, last week everybody's throwing in the towel and, and now everybody's ready to anoint and we're still playing 40 some freshmen and redshirt freshmen and sophomores. And so, uh, we're just going to try to get ready to go. You know, start, you know, somebody, I read some this morning where somebody said this was an ugly ri rivalry. I mean, how can it be an ugly rivalry? We haven't even played each other. I mean, if you ask me, um, you say, you get a choice. You get to win Iowa State or Baylor. Which one, which, which one do you choose, Baylor? I mean, if Iowa State or Texas Tech? Texas Tech. I mean, always. I mean, any time in state, because kids have got a better chance of staying closer to home than, than when they go out of state. And, you know, it's, it's like the Baylor game. You know, we, I, like I said before the season, we have to learn who to hate. You know, we know about Baylor. We know the kids at Texas Tech. We, we, you have you used bragging rights for a year. Uh, Iowa State, it's out of sight, out of mind. And so you got to learn in Iowa State what kind of football team. I told them what kind of football team. I told them how they coach and how they do things. We didn't, we didn't do a good job of listening. And we got beat Iowa State style. You know, it's, well, you're going to be challenged in this league throwing the football. So, but, you know, one, one touchdown was – Knuckleheads, it doesn't have anything to do with athletic ability. We didn't line up to empty and they motioned a wide receiver instead of running back and one was my fault. You know, I called the blitz and I put a safety on uh, Terrence Williams, which was not, a, was not a very smart move. We were this far away from it being a difference between a sack and touchdown and it was a touchdown. So we didn't, we didn't call that ever again. No, th it wasn't that this team, did, their team didn't want to play us. You keep making that be into that. No, their coach, their coach said that because they were new and they're, they're young that they would be better to schedule a different way, and that's why I took it. Um, and that's what I've told them. I said, they're, up, they're, upset, they're upset with me right, us right now as a revenge game because they're saying we said they, they were chicken. That's not – nobody at TCU, not Gary Patterson, not, not my team, nobody said that. So, uh, I mean, it could be for the fans, it could be for you media people, but outside of that, I'm going to go play a ball game on Saturday. Because you know, I'm going to tell you the same, same set I said here. With all the young kids I get, I got to find a way to win one ball game in the last six. And I think that's a chore. Could win all six, could lose all six. But you got to get it so that you can get those extra 15 practices in December so you can grow your football team up to get ready for the next year. I mean, that's – you know, he's going to be probably the rest of the season because he's got a foot injury. It's going to be how he can tolerate the pain. Some point in time after the season, he's probably going to have to have surgery, something he had as a freshman and his other foot, and how he, how he tolerates will depend on whether he can play. So every week he's going to be a game-time decision, to be honest with you. Now, Tucker played last week. I mean, he's going to have to get himself healthy, but he's not careful. B.J. is going to take his job. 